Real hot girl shit. What's up, babes? And welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Carmesia J, aka Mimi, and I know you came here just to see me. So, today we are gonna fix us some meat because your girl is hungry. So, what's on the menu? You ask? Well, we have some steak, some lobster. Okay, I'm lying, but we are having steak. I was debating between broccoli and mashed potatoes, but I think I want some broccoli. So, yeah, I'm gonna do steak and broccoli. So that's what's on the menu today. So if you're interested in how I make my steak and broccoli, keep on watching. First thing first, we wanna season our steak, right? Big. Here's some of the seasons I'm gonna be using to season my steak. We're gonna be using. We're gonna be using this roasted garlic curb seasoning right here. Boom. Chicago steak seasoning. Boom. Montana steak seasoning. Garlic pepper. I might use garlic salt. I don't know. No, I'm not using garlic salt on my steak. This can be from my Sorry. Season salt, you know, this goes to anything. And we'll get us some soy sauce. So that's for the steak. For my broccoli, we're gonna use accent, garlic salt, garlic pepper, and garlic butter. Now I'm gonna use garlic butter for both my steak and broccoli. And from my ingredients, you can also tell I, I like a garlic type of taste. Pretty much everything go over here said go. So, yeah, so let me go season this steak and I'll be right back. Now I got my steak all seasoned. So now I'm gonna prep my broccoli. It doesn't matter what broccoli is, I'm gonna do pack. This is the broccoli I'm using today. I like to rinse my broccoli off. Put it in like so, and now I'm rinse it. Okay, so I just rinsed them. Now I'm gonna season them. Um, I have my oil for my uh, steak heating up while I was seasoning my uh, steak. And this is what I'm pouring in there. Might be a bit much. Get our broccoli gonna be very light with this seasoning because it's not a lot of broccoli in here. It makes it good a little bit, but you don't want to over eat. But it doesn't take much to season the broccoli. So, so I'm pouring these eggs in just a little. Because if it if it's not flavorful enough to my liking, I probably add more. But once it's salty, baby. Garlic pepper, garlic salt, be very light handed with this. Yeah, I love garlic butter. Yeah, I love garlic butter. Slaps with anything. Judge me, I'm gonna feel like looking for the top of that so I got this. Clearly it doesn't go. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna turn the eye on this. Okay, and we will. Alright, so you wanna add a little water. Just a little. Maybe like two tablespoons. Now we're ready for our steak. So yeah, that's really, I just 
just let it cook on one side till it gets brown. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Then get brown on this side. And then when it's just about done, when it's almost done, I um chop it up to pieces. Like they do with um if you're from where I'm from, we go to sticks or sumos. But if you're from Atlanta or I think California has this place, like being Hana, I'm gonna do that with it to chop that steak up. So yeah, that's that's the back of that for right now. Periodically, start your broccoli. I don't like my broccoli soggy and I don't like it too crunchy either. But I do like my broccoli have a little crunch, so I want to make sure I don't let them get too mushy and soggy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn the eye off for the broccoli and put it marinate. So now since the steak is still tender and easy to cut, I want to go and cut it in bites and let it finish cooking. Flavorful. Oh my goodness, you see that? Delicious. Okay. This is what the steak is looking like. Very juicy. Flavorful. Thank you. 
did this. Okay, what about that? I did this with sugar. Taste it. You Tell a friend to tell a friend to come back and see me, cause you know what? Real hot girl shit. Ah. Can it the beat live? You know, little juke.